Hi, I'm John Emmett here for Restart Sailing and it's Lanzarote this time. So I have a young man who seems to be following me. So can you introduce yourself? Hi, I'm Tom Squires. I sail an RSX windsurfer and going to Tokyo 2021. So it's all about the lockdown experience so far. It's uh, nearly a year since this started in the UK, but we're going to go back further than that. It's good to talk to a windsurfer. Can you tell us how you got involved in, uh, in windsurfing side of the sport? Uh, I got involved in windsurfing in around about 2004, just windsurfing a holiday down in Cornwall. Uh, my parents always go um, UK based holidays and um, we found out about windsurfing, a really old school one. And then um, we slowly realised that there was our way training centres all across the UK. And uh, my home club is Oxford Sailing Club in Farmall Reservoir, right in the middle of the country. Um, and windsurfing there was uh, really good actually. I had lots of guys and friends and people doing it. My dad and my sister all picked up as well. Um, really good. That's in, in the UK for training facilities. Uh. Well, I have to say now is probably a good time for UK-based holidays. <laughs> so maybe maybe some more people can join in. Um, it's been difficult to, to get your training in during the lockdown. You said you're, you're off to the games. So for people who don't know, what, what have you done for the last 12 months? It's been a long road. Yeah, I've been away for a really long time, actually. The UK has um, been in and out of, these, out of lockdowns. The first lockdown was based in the UK. It was a really... so, so for people who don't know, what is a really long time? This might surprise some people. Right. I've, uh, I was away, I think I left the UK in May, June, July. July? July. I had a bit of a trip in July, a short trip, and then, which is 10 days for a competition, this new foiling windsurfer. And then I left the UK pretty much indefinitely since September. And from September until November, December, and come home for Christmas for a, for a week, and then try to get out to Lanzarote via Portugal. And um, so basically seven, eight months away. Wow. So for people who think the full-time sailors or indeed windsurfers have a, an easy life, that's, that's not quite true. Traditionally, we, we normally follow the sun and, and the wind so that we get the maximum number of daylight hours to, to train. It's not just about being on the, on the board. I'm sure you spend a lot of time on the bike. Can you just tell us a bit about the choice of this training venue? Lanzarote uh, has never really hit the cards for the windsurfers, but um, since being here, it's just been incredible, actually. Our cycling... Uh, fitness program off the water. There's, like you said, the sunlight allows us time to, to get training, as well as uh, amazing conditions out there. Um, I think everyone's shocked by how amazing it is. First world problem is when you have to remember to be drinking enough water and putting enough sun cream on and probably reapplying it. And uh, what do you think is going to happen for the, for the next few months? It's still a time of great uncertainty. How are you preparing for that? I think the adversity is uh, even bigger at these games, um, but athletes are normally used to that. This is just so out of the blue, um, the COVID stuff now. Uh, I've lost my training partners because they're moving on to the next windsurfer, which is the high. I have to be clear that the training partners are changing class as opposed to anything bad happening for them, just, to, yeah. just in case people are worrying. Yeah, I killed them off. <laughs> no, um, yeah, they've moved on to the IQ foil, which is the next windsurfer. So it's been really hard uh, finding training partners, people to race with. Uh, the foreigners I'll be racing at the, at the games with, I'll be dueling with here and all the way to the games. And uh, after that, uh, are you going to be loyal to the foil? What's, what's the plan or is this too early to say? Uh, yeah, I love the foiling. It's um, reinvigorated windsurfing, I think, uh, especially the Olympic windsurfing. It's got people from doing freestyle windsurfing all the way over to course racing and old, old geezers back at home loving it. So um, uh, I'm really looking forward to be part of that again. Fantastic. So from everyone at Restart Sailing, thanks ever so much for your time and very, very much.